Hello everyone, welcome to Fond of Rats. This video will go over pituitary tumors in rats. I want to preface this video with a bit of a tribute to my rat Chloe who passed away due to a pituitary tumor. The videos you are seeing on screen will go through the progression of her disease from being healthy to the first symptoms and then to her later symptoms. So what is a pituitary tumor? A pituitary tumor is an abnormal growth in the pituitary gland of your rat's brain. The pituitary gland is the part of the brain that regulates the body's balance of hormones. Pituitary tumors can appear in both male and female rats, but they are particularly common in unspayed female rats, as about 20% of them will acquire a pituitary tumor. A variety of symptoms can arise for a pituitary tumor. With Chloe, I first noticed her being more tired and a little weaker. Then I noticed puffed up fur, lack of coordination, and poor posture. As her disease progressed, she began to lose control of her limbs and balance. She had trouble eating solid foods, and eventually, she was having trouble staying upright and endured frequent seizures. Symptoms of a pituitary tumor include lack of limb coordination, gradual weakness in the hind legs, wide-based stance, stumbling, stiffness or inability to flex the forelimbs, which may progress to the hind limbs as the tumor grows, unequal pupil size, circling, head tilt, and seizures. This video is showing Chloe having a seizure, and my video, More Signs of Illness, has more information on seizures. Other symptoms are head pressing or bumping, difficulty holding food, a behavioral change, such as becoming aggressive, weight loss, excessive thirst, and dehydration. With Chloe, I didn't notice any serious signs of illness until about two or three weeks before she died. Unfortunately, pituitary tumors are hard to catch early, so seeing a quick decline is common, even though manifestation is often gradual. So, what can be done for pituitary tumors? Well, ultimately the pituitary tumor will take your rat's life. However, there are measures that can be taken to extend your rat's life and reduce symptoms. Once diagnosed, your vet can prescribe medication like cabergoline, which will extend your rat's quality of life. Cabergoline can shrink the tumor for a while, but eventually the tumor will grow back. At the very least, cabergoline will give your rat one to two months of quality life, but it can give them six to eight months. I recommend discussing treatment options with your veterinarian. Cabergoline can be quite expensive, and if it's not going to give them that much time, or if they're already near death and suffering, it may be time to consider euthanasia. If you want to learn more about pituitary tumors in rats, I suggest checking out the Rat Health Guide linked in the description below. If you want to learn more about seizures, I suggest checking out my More Signs of Illness video in which I go through what seizures look like in rats. Also, don't forget to like this video, and if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Bye!